Greetings, this is Tara Olafemi, your goddess guru, here to share a word of inspiration with you on your path to self-realization and self-mastery because <laughs> that's why we're here, y'all. We're here to know who we are and to master all of this good stuff that we are. <laughs> I made a video uh, about walking in peace, choosing peace, and the lessons that the energy on men, the Supreme Being, teaches us. And as I was finishing that video, I thought, you know, I need to share this. I really need to share this. You know, there are times in our lives where it seems like the only thing that we're experiencing is hell. Hell, baby. I mean, fire, brimstone, everything coming to us, nothing is going right. It seems th there are times when it seems like everybody has a complaint about who we are and what we do. It seems like our entire life is crumbling around us. I used to be thrown by all of that. And then I began to realize, well, maybe there's some greater divine plan to what is going on. And I began to realize that I'm here to experience peace. I'm here to experience the abundance and wonder of what I am. And when we are working to master ourselves, and that's the fun thing about it. I mean, why not come here and learn to master ourselves? To me, that's fun when we know what we're doing. Um, so in order for me, one of the things I have to do to master myself is to, myself is to not be fooled by what I see. See, I have to know and understand what is reality. And the ultimate reality is that there is one. There's only one supreme, supreme being consciousness. And this physical reality extends out from it. This physical reality changes moment by moment with our thoughts. But the supreme being is the same. Never changing. Immutable. And so... What, when, we, when I began to understand that, and this is what all of us have to get, when we begin to understand and accept that the truth is, the ultimate reality is that all is one, then what happens in life happens in order for us to maintain that level of consciousness. Many of us come here believing we are a body, and that creates a very limited experience for us. But when we begin to know we're a soul in a body, our body is a tool, then it, it, it just creates a whole new experience and way of understanding things. And you begin to realize we are really avatars and we can create whatever it is that we want from the unseen consciousness. The Christians say what is made, what, what is seen is made from the unseen seen. And, and, and many tra traditions say that. It's not just the Christians, but I like saying it that way because it really clicked for me to hear what is seen is made from the unseen. And so when I began to understand that I'm not a body, I'm a soul, and that the greater reality is the unseen, then I'm given opportunities to not fall back into my limited understanding of myself, and to stay at this expanded place by hell, breaking loose, baby. <laughs> I began to realize if I can maintain my peace, the truth, the, the, the knowingness of the truth of who I am. And I walk in that thing. And I walk so connected to the divine consciousness. No matter what I see, I'm not moved by it. Because none of this is the real, the ultimate reality. It is a reality. We say this in a, it's in an illusionary world. Get a knife and cut yourself. It's not going to feel like an illusion, okay? This is a level of reality. It's just not the ultimate level of reality. And so sometimes when I'm in speaks, hell is going to break loose. As a matter of fact, I think I pulled I'm in in the negative. And so what it's saying is that life is just going to be, for some of us, full of turmoil this year. So much is going to come up. And what, if you can choose to look at it as, oh, poor pitiful me, or this is hell, and oh, this is so hard, and life is so bad, or 
You can look at every opportunity that shows up. Look it dead in the face and say, <laughs> I'm not fooled by none of it. I know the ultimate reality is the one to supreme divine consciousness. And in this moment, I'm walking aware so that I can hear whatever I need to hear, if anything, because maybe I don't need to do anything. But I will walk aware and I will walk connected to the one supreme being, the divine consciousness. Whatever I need to do and whatever I need to know, I will. But I trust so much the ultimate reality <laughs> that I'm not even afraid of death. I mean, that's my take on it. It may not be yours because I don't like to tell people what to think. But it gets just that deep for me that I can look at it all, take everything from my life. I always give myself an opportunity where I lose everything. See, our man says have no attachment to this physical reality. We can enjoy the experiences. We can appreciate the people, our titles, our roles in our lives, the country that we live in, the culture from which we come. We can appreciate it all. It, it, it's a wonderful thing to be in this world. I, I don't care what anyone says. I'm blessed to be here because not every soul that wants to incarnate is incarnated right now. We got to take turns incarnating into this life. So it's a blessing to be here, but I'm not fooled by it all, any of it. The ultimate reality is the one, and that's what I take. I am only down with, with the divine. That's it. I'm walking present and aware of the divine. And so I just wanted to let you know, self-mastery is real. And one of the ways that you can master yourself is to not be fooled by what you see, to walk in peace. And having your peace extend from your relationship to the divine. Your awareness of the divine. Because after a while, you'll be able to look at hell and you'll be able to see the divine working in that too. Okay? It just takes some time. We're not in a rush in my opinion. <laughs> we rush enough, most of us. But I do encourage you to walk aware. Do something. Take some time. Make your life a spiritual practice and a journey. And you will begin to delve, de delve deeper into understanding and mastering this life, mastering yourself and not being moved by the world. <laughs> I mean, really and truly, y'all folks say it, but most everybody I know, <laughs> they get moved. Don't be moved by this world. Walk in peace. Walk in truth. Walk in knowingness. The one truth is that there is the one divine consciousness. Peace to you all. I wish you <laughs> a wonderful day, <laughs> present and aware of the wonder who you are. Here's some love. I love you all. Have a good one. Thanks for watching this video also. Please share it with others.